Va bene, molto bene. Forse un po' troppo per bene. Troppo pulitino, sì, preciso. Troppo formale, deve essere più buttato via. Rendo l'idea? Ricordatevi che questo tipo di jazz nasceva nei... nei bordelli. Era libertà. And this phenomenon, as the latest studies confirm, is not limited to a circumscribed group of higher life forms, but is found in vertebrates and invertebrates as well. Butterflies, termites, zebras, all these animals and many, many others use telepathy to transmit orders and relay information. This is a fact that the rest can be demonstrated with facility. For example, se noi chiudiamo in gabbia una farfalla, in qualche ora essa riuscirà ad avere intorno a sé numerose altre farfalle che a suo richiamo accorreranno a frotte veloci percorrendo anche alcuni chilometri. Questa è la telepatia. A faculty which comes naturally to the newborn in the early stages of life, but which they generally lose as they acquire the means of verbal communication. On the other hand, certain rare individuals, for reasons as yet unknown to us, do not lose this inborn faculty. One such exception is Mrs. Helga Ullman from Lithuania, who's been living in this country for the past few months. This lady has extraordinary powers of telepathy and a natural disposition for paranormal phenomena that has truly astonished us. Mrs. Ullman. I would like to point out immediately that my faculties have nothing whatsoever to do with magic, the esoteric, or foretelling the future. I can see things, the very moment they occur, but nothing of what is to come. I can feel thoughts the very instant they are formed, and even much later, if the thoughts are very strong, for they linger about the room, like cobwebs. You, sir. Yes, you, in the third row. You have your right hand in your pocket. And you are clutching a bunch of keys. Four keys. One of them very long. Oh, it's true. Look, they're right here. Your name is Pietro... Pietro... Excuse me if I pronounce it badly. Valgoy? Yes, Valgoy. That's right. Mr. Valgoy, excuse me. I would like to ask you something. Do you know Mrs. Ullman by any chance? Oh, no. Is, is it possible you could have met her before? Or can you think of any other way Mrs. Ullman could have known your name? Oh, no, how could she? I live in Bologna. Why? I only arrived in Rome three hours ago. No, it's impossible. Good. Thank you, sir. Forgive me, I'm sorry. Helga. It was... I can't explain. Something strange and sharp, like the prick of a thorn. It upset me, but it's all right now. <gasps> I can feel... In this room, I feel a present, a twisted mind, sending me thoughts, perverted, murderous thoughts. Go away. Mrs. Ullman, <gasps> here. Killed 
And you will kill again. There is a child singing in that house. Death. Blood. All blood. Ah! I'm scared. I'm scared. Helga, oh. Helga, it's all right. It's all right. We must hide everything. Everything in the house. Back the way it was. No one must know. No one. No one. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forever. Forever. sick. Anything I can do for you? you? Want me to get some help? It was all so clear, so frighteningly clear. Like a thorn piercing my brain. I heard all those twisted thoughts, cruel and yet childish at the same time. How strange. Before, in front of the audience, I couldn't express all the sensations that flooded my mind. But at home, I want to write it all down. I let you have it tomorrow. You may use it as you see fit. Because, you see, now, I also know who that person is. What is it? What's the matter? No, it's nothing. Those evil thoughts. They must have stagnated in here. Just now. They came to me again. I'm sorry. It's never happened to me before. I don't understand. It frightens me. Ich fühle mich müde. Ach so. Meinst du, wir sollen sofort davon sprechen? Ja, ich möchte, dass dieser Artikel noch während mein Anfang halb in Italien veröffentlicht wird. Doch. 
Ich bin allein. Ich bin ein wenig aufgeregt, aber mache dir keine Sorgen. Wir hören uns wieder morgen. Hino, friend. Hino. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? This guy told me a little while ago in a bar. It's uh, saying they got to Tahiti. It's in Madagascar. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so damn drunk I can't even remember. Sarebbe, come dire, alla salute, cheers, a votre santé, scon. Senti, Carlo, andare in America, ne ho conosciuti molti come te. You go on the way you are, and you won't last very long. Who says it won't last? You're just wallowing in self-pity. Mm. My ass. Listen. As long as I'm drunk, I'm happy as a lark. And I play better, too. <laughs> For me, the piano is a beautiful woman. And I just love to tickle her fanny. <laughs> Speaking of pianos, my half hour of oxygen is up. So it's back to the old grind. <laughs> or they'll screw me for my evening's wages. Wages? Yeah, come on. Up, up! Hey! <laughs> hey, you know what? What? The difference between you and me is purely political. Yeah. You see, we both play good piano, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm the proletariat of the keyboard. <laughs> and you're the bourgeois. You play for art. And you enjoy it. I play for survival. It's not the same thing. My, my, my. 
We are expanding our philosophies this evening, <laughs> aren't we? Yeah, I just thought of it. Sometimes when I'm drunk, I expand into genius. What was that? <laughs> A scream, I'd say. Maybe somebody's getting raped. You know, to thee, raped virgin. You take care of yourself, eh? La vittima dimostra un'età di 35-40 anni circa e presenta anche abrasioni e tagli cutanei. E così lei è straniero, vero? Sì, sono nato a Londra, ma ho vissuto alcuni anni in America prima di venire qui. Mm. E cosa ci fa di bello in Italia? Sono un pianista, jazz. Insegno qui oh. al conservatorio. Mm -hmm. Insegno jazz. Mm, ma sono al piano, via. Mm. E così allora non ce l'ha un lavoro, eh? Le ho detto mm. che sono pianista. Mm. Certo. certo, certo. Sì, insomma, soltanto quel lavoro lì, eh? Perché per lei suonare non è un lavoro. Cos'è, una buffonata? No, che dice? No. Si figuri se mi permetterei. Anzi, gli di no. In famiglia c'è una cugina che suona il... Il vino. Cosa? Il vino. Il pianino. Ok, Slug, give me a couple of shots of the window. Keep your feet off the blood stains on the floor. Ready straight, huh? Can I show you the door? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let me ask you something. Did you move anything or change something around or take anything away from here? You crazy. We're very careful not to move a thing. Why? There's something wrong. No, no, I mean, it's just an impression, maybe. Uh, Sorry, what were you going to ask me? No, yeah, the victim. Yeah, please. Did you know her? I have already told you I live upstairs. Her name was Helga Ullman. Captain? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, that brown raincoat. Thank you. Let's hear some more about the murderer's raincoat. Hmm? Just wait a minute. I didn't say that was the murderer's raincoat. All I said was that I saw a man in a brown raincoat walking away from the building. Good evening. Hi, everybody. No, 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 no. Via. Vattene. Qui non puoi entrare. E perché no? In un delitto di questa portata, la prima cosa è avvertire la storia. E metti giù le mani. Non puoi entrare, ho detto. 
Stiamo facendo un'indagine complessa. Guarda chi c'è. Gianna Brezzi. Yes, Captain. Okay, who told you about this? I have my own sources. As it happens, the victim was rather famous around here. In fact, I was listening to one of her lectures this very afternoon. What was she into, anyhow, huh? She was a, a kind of magician. She could read people's thoughts. <laughs> read people's thoughts, eh? You. I bet you're the eyewitness, the man who saw the whole thing. Febroni, mm. get me Ngozi in here. I want to check something with him. Then go see what's happened to the coroner. Right, Captain. Ma perché devo venire in questo? Gli ho già detto tutto quello che so, non capisco cos'altro. E per la sua testimonianza va ufficializzata, va tutta macchina, non lo sa, la burocrazia. <ride> e poi le generalità complete, luogo, data di nascita, controllo passaporto, eccetera, eccetera. Oh, 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 mi sta scoppiando la testa. Tu piuttosto, che diavolo ci fai qui a quest'ora? Eh? Torno a casa, dopo quattro ore passate in quest'ora. Ah già, è vero, mi ero dimenticato del delitto. E com'è andata? Senti che domanda, come deve essere andata? Dai, dai, vieni che ti accompagno a casa. No, grazie, lascia, ancora ce la faccio. Che... Ce la faccio, t'ho detto. Oh, la mia povera testa, la mia Ma povera credo. testa. Lì, quanto hai bevuto? <ride> Chi se lo ricorda? Chi si ricorda niente di questa sera? Però deve essere stato tanto. Um, you want to come back to my place for coffee or... Oh, thanks. Thanks anyway. I really liked you, but right now I think I have to go home. Uh, see you. Carla? Carla? Huh? Did you see a man coming towards the fountain? A man? Yeah, a man in a brown raincoat. He may have been the murderer, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, yeah, for a second, from the back. There's something else that's funny, you know. It's very strange, and I don't even know if it's true or not. But, but when I went into her apartment first, I, I thought I saw, I, I thought I saw a painting. And then, a, a few minutes later, it was gone. Now, how could that be? Maybe the painting was made to disappear because it represented something important. Sorry, what? Something important! No, no, non credo. A quanto mi ricordo era... era una specie di composizione di volti. Una cosa molto strana. E guarda, magari hai visto qualcosa di talmente importante che non te ne rendi conto. Ma io... io, io vorrei solo cercare di Mi capire, sai, perché... Certe volte... quello che vedi realmente... e quello che immagini... Si mischia nella memoria come un cocktail, del quale tu non riesci più a distinguere i sapori. Ma io ti sto dicendo la verità. No, Mark, tu credi di dire la verità e invece dici soltanto la tua versione della verità. A me accade spesso. Vitkadal, Vitkadash e Merabah. You see him, the one in the mag, that's Giordani. He's a professor of psychiatry, but he's also mad about parapsychology. They were more than friends. He practically kept her. The man next to him, that's Barty. He's quite an expert at paranormal phenomena. And he's supposed to be a clairvoyant, too. He was also a good friend of poor Helga's.
עושה שלום במרומיו וברחמיו יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל. אמן. אמן. Ah, yes, by the way, I wanted to thank you. It's always nice to let the murderer know who you are. Oh, that's okay. Guarda, forse tu non ci crederai, ma io non ho neanche il ragazzo fisso in questo momento. Nemmeno io. Eh, lo spero. La ragazza, intendevo. Ah, allora è per questo che sei sempre nervoso. Io nervoso? Ma, ma, ma fai il piacere, io non sono affatto nervoso. Come no? E stai un po' fermo, stai sempre a grattarti. C'è le mani che ti tremano. Ma dimmi un po', si può sapere che cos'è? Quante volte te lo devo dire che io sono un artista. Se per caso non te lo ricordi, noi artisti siamo gente estremamente sensibile, chiaro? Mm. Mica abbiamo la pelle d'elefante mm. di voi giornalisti. La pelle d'elefante? Per quanto mi riguarda, tutti trovano che ho una pelle deliziosa. Tocca pure, prova su. Mm. Mm. Non c'è male. È fantastica. Saprei io come farti passare il nervoso. Ma come? Qui al cimitero? Eh, dico, sei matta? No. E poi ho altro per la testa. Lo capisci o no? Certo, ti è venuta una fifa tremenda. Io non ho paura. Già, te la stai quasi facendo sotto. Mm. Ed è tutta colpa mia. E io invece vorrei che si facesse vivo. Guarda un po', <ride> sono proprio curioso di vederlo in faccia. Lascia perdere, è meglio che torni in Inghilterra. A dire la verità ho deciso di restare. L'hai deciso proprio adesso? Sì, può darsi. E poi ho bisogno di concentrarmi. Devo ricordare. Sono sicuro di aver visto qualcosa di molto importante quella notte. Ma non mi ricordo più che cosa, accidenti. Vedi tu? Oh, no, 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 no. I've got to get out on this side. The lock's broken on the other door. I'm sorry. Oh, I should have warned you about that seat. I'm sorry. Are you uncomfortable? No. Nah. Listen, why don't you give me your help on this crime story? If you give me a hand with the scoop, then maybe I can pull myself out of the human pollution. Are you interested? Hmm? What have you done? What do you mean? Oh, you didn't lock the door, did you? Oh, no. Wh why? Shouldn't I have... The lock jams, and we got to get a mechanic to open it. Oh, shit. The car is not exactly new, you know. Just drive fast, will you? Why? I suffer a little from claustrophobia. <laughs> okay. Sai perché i commercianti di boomerang australiani falliscono? No, questa non la so. Falliscono perché la merce gli torna sempre indietro. <ride> è buona, non ti pare? Uh, senti, non è ancora venuto Carlo? No, prima delle 10 non si vede mai. Per favore, appena lo vedi, gli dici che l'ho cercato e che gli devo parlare con urgenza. Sì, senza altro, grazie. We'll hide everything. Everything in the house. No. One must ever know. We must forget. We must forget everything. Forever. Forever. That's all. Oh, yes, she pointed to the stalls there, to the middle of the sixth or seventh row. And you, uh, you can't remember the faces of the people sitting there? 
No, I'm sorry. There were lights on us, and, uh, and the audience was just a blur. I must say, on thinking it over, I seem to recall that while Helga was speaking, I noticed some kind of movement in the sixth or seventh, or maybe the eighth row. I couldn't say exactly. What kind of movement? What, please? I said, what kind of movement? I think someone stood up and left his seat. But of course, it was just an impression. As our friend Giordani has already told you, the lights were rather strong. You see? You're not nervous anymore. You can even button your shirt without your hands shaking. Look, why do you keep on with this nervous bit? It is in my nature. It's my artistic temperament. What made you decide to be a pianist? Well, my psychiatrist would say that uh, it's because I hated my father. Because I, when I bang the keys, I'm really bashing his teeth in. <laughs> Actually, it's because I like music. What about you? Why did you decide to become a journalist? Because I like working. I think that a woman's got to be independent so oh, she can... Oh, don't start with me about all that woman stuff. It is a fundamental fact. Men are different from women. Women are weaker. Well, they're gentler. They're what? Weaker? Yeah. Gentler? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth are you doing? Come on, Tarzan. Why don't you try me? What's that? Indian wrestling. Come on. <sighs> then we'll see who's the weaker. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You backing out? Total cheat. You caught me completely off guard. I mean, if you're, if you're going to play the game, you might at least stick to the rules. Mm-hmm. You too. I mean, if you're going to do it, you might just as well do it properly. I mean, do it. Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it properly without actually yeah. cheating? All right. Are you sure? Yeah. <sighs> All right. Both elbows on the table directly straight, okay? Absolutely on I the know table. The rules. And don't start till I say ready. Okay. All right. Wait, wait, wait. One. Two. Three. Was an absolute elbow off the table. That is a total and absolute cheat. A total cheat. Why, it's just... All right, all right. But it's bloody ridiculous. You're a... You are a big, strong male. I give up. So what do you say we go now? Go where? We are not going anywhere. If anyone is going anywhere, I am going by myself. Oh, yeah. Where? I'm going to see a friend, that's where. I have things to do, you know. I can't stand around here all day playing stupid, bloody games. I'm following up an important lead, and don't ask me what it is, because I'm not about to tell you. But, listen, don't be angry now. <sighs> I can go with you, can't I? No. But, listen, we decided to work together, no? No. It seems that there are some things which you just cannot do seriously with liberated women. So, I am going on my own. Listen, have it your own way, stupid. I'll carry out my own investigation and we'll see who comes out on top. Hmm? What is that, another game of Indian wrestling? Yeah, in a way. Okay. So when will I see you again? Never. 
Really? How about later tonight? What time will you be back? I don't know. Io provo a telefonarti. Va bene. Però te lo ripeto di nuovo, guarda Scusa. che io non... Se tu non lo vuoi, basta dirlo. Volevo solo dire che non so a che ora sarò di ritorno. Hm? D'accordo. Ciao. Dimmi la verità. Secondo te, sono proprio tanto bruttina? No. Ma allora cos'è che non va? Il mio odore? O cosa? Ma no, niente affatto, perché? Oh, niente, era... Era solo una curiosità. Yes? Uh, yes, I'm uh, Marcus Daly. I'm a friend of Carlos. Oh, please, won't you come in? I know who you are. Carlos told me all about you. You're an engineer. No, no, uh, I'm, a, I'm a pianist. I teach uh, the conservatory. A pianist? Uh, come in, won't you? Come in. Now, what can I offer you? Would you like some coffee? Or perhaps a little... No, thank you, no. I, uh, I actually came to see uh, Carlo. He, he wasn't at the bar. He was... Uh, it was a liqueur, wasn't it? Would this... Oh, oh, how silly of me. I'll just run in and make some coffee. I won't be a minute. No, 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 really. I, 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 I don't want anything. I just want to talk to oh. Carlo. Oh, well, that's no trouble. Carlo! Carlo! Oh, I can't think today. My boy's gone out. He told me he was going out and I forgot. Oh, but come here, Mark. Come and talk to me. Sit here. Now, tell me something about yourself. Do you like engineering? No. I am a pianist. And I'm an actress. Oh, I mean, I was an actress. That's me in all those photos. Oh, I had so many good parts. Do you like them? Yes, I, I just wish I'd had the opportunity to, it's back to see to you. In the past, when I first married Carlo's father, uh, of course, Carlo wasn't born then. Well, he made me give up acting. The height of my career. Now it's all gone. There's just those photos. But that's water under the bridge. I console myself by playing the piano. You play the piano. Hmm? I'm a, I'm a pianist. Oh, my, what a magnificent combination, an engineer pianist. Listen, couldn't we play a duet? No. No. Really. Unfortunately, I just don't have time. But I, I would very much like to speak to Carlo. It's very urgent. Do you, do you know where he is? Oh, well, yes, of course. He wrote it down for me. He's at the house of someone called Ricci. Here it is. Sorry. Um... I'm looking for Carlo. Um, his mother gave me this address. Is he here? Yes, yes. Come in. Thank you. You don't know how ill he's been. I wish I knew what's come over him. He's in a bad way. È più di un'ora che in questo stato. Prima si è messo a bere come fa di solito, forse più del solito. Poi ha cominciato a sragionare. Oh, look who's here. Caught me red-handed, eh? Good old Carlo. He's not only a drunk, but a faggot as well. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Come on, come on, pull yourself together. Ma t'ho già detto una volta che non si dura tanto a bere come fai tu. Mm. E io ti ho risposto anche chi vuole durare. Il fegato parte. 
Gli intestini anche. Avanti, alzati, cerca di tirarti su. Va a mettere la testa sotto il rubinetto, ti farà bene. Mm. E poi ti porto fuori a prendere un po' d'aria. I love that guy. But he's such a downer. He drinks and drinks. And then he starts talking a lot of nonsense. I think he's really cracking up. He said he wanted to make love, and then he wanted to go away. And then he wanted to sleep. He kept getting worse. And then he started screaming. I was about to call a doctor. I'll make some coffee. No. It's late already. I gotta go. Or else this time the blue bar will attack me for good. You coming with me? Yes. Bye. Sorry. Not before. Don't be silly. Call me, huh? Why'd you come looking for me? I wanted to ask you something. You remember the other night, the night of the murder? Yeah, yeah. Well, I said, I thought I'd seen a painting. But a few minutes later, it was no longer there. You remember? Vaguely. Good luck. No. You said that maybe the painting represented something important. You said a lot of things about memory and truth. <laughs> a lot of things I didn't really understand at the time. Yeah, yeah. That I remember, but for God's sake, don't ask me now what point I was trying to get across. <laughs> remember about every tenth word after a drunk like that, you know. Hey, 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 listen to me. What? What? Why don't you just pack up and clear out? <laughs> What are you doing messing around with this business anyway? Just, just... Can't you see the guy's crazy? Maniac. Anyone who'd commit a crime like that... is sick. I'm just... just fascinated by the whole thing, you know, <laughs> in a morbid, morbid kind of way. But, 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 listen, just listen to this, just listen to me. That painting was definitely there. I did not invent that. Mm. And maybe that's something important. So now, it's become a kind of a challenge to my ah. memory. <laughs> challenge. 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 I challenge myself. And I always lose. But then I'm not you. I mean, uh, if I ever got the bug, to do what you're trying to do. I'd end up getting murdered myself. <laughs> In another report from police headquarters, there is still no further news on the murder of German mind reader Helga Ullmann. Police are concentrating their investigation on a person who was seen leaving the scene of the crime by an English pianist, tenant of another apartment in the same building. According to one newspaper report, This important eyewitness can identify the mysterious night visitor. Se questi si accorgono che è un pianista bravo, lo cacciano di sicuro.
that, but Mark? you gotta help me. Mark, it's me, Jana. This time you're safe. Hello? I'll kill you when you Hello? Sooner or later. Hello? Mark. Hello? What is it? Hello? Hello? Listen, Gianna, Gianna. There's somebody in the house. Is that I'm absolutely trying to kill me, you know? Do you want me to call the police? Hello? Just wait a minute, wait a second. Hello? That's it, all right. That's the uh, same song that I heard last night. And if I remember correctly, you told me that Helga had said she'd heard a child singing that day in the theater. That's right. And this little song may be very well the, the leitmotif of the crimes. You see, we are starting from what I presume to be a correct supposition. The murder is a schizophrenic paranoid. Anyone who kills with such frenzy surely does it in a state of temporary madness. Well, then, in everyday life, this person could appear quite normal. As normal as you or I, or anyone else. And when he kills, he must recreate these specific conditions, which will trigger the release of all his pent-up madness. Una data ora, un certo giorno, per se non vestito. Qualcosa, insomma, che gli faccia risorgere le stesse immagini che in un tempo remoto furono la cornice occasionale del suo trauma scatenante. Uh, I'd like to add something much less scientific to this business about the children's song. If you recall, Helga also mentioned a house, as well as a child singing. And, well, I remember having read a little book quite some time ago on folklore. I think the title was The Modern Ghost and the Black Legends of Today. The author spoke about a haunted house from which the neighbors could sometimes hear singing, like that of a child. The conjecture is that an act of bloodshed was once committed in that house. Well, do you, do you have that book? Oh, no. Uh, but if you want to find it, you might try the Library of Folklore and Popular Traditions. Down her name. Her name is uh, Amanda Rigetti. Wait. Rigetti. You got it. Diana. Oh, Jesus. What? What the hell? What the hell you want to do that for? Putting the bloody machine next to here. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. Listen. Will you try and find her for me? The name is Rigetti. Rigetti. Yeah. 
I mean, she's bound to know where the house is. She's probably got some other information, too. God damn it, you still have to pay. Look, I'll call you back. I'll call... I will call you back. I can't hear. The address. Look, look, can't you just leave that alone, for Christ's sake? They imitate the washing machine, the television, even our own voices. Oh, oh <laughs> it's like having a madman in the house. <laughs> they scare me. <laughs> well, Bye. goodbye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. 
Qui le cose sono due. O scappi in Libano e subito... Oppure mi butto a capofitto cercando di scoprire tutto, nel minor tempo possibile. Secondo te quanto ci metteranno per beccarmi quelli della polizia? Hai preso il taxi per andare da Manda? No, con un auto a noleggio. Ma, ma perché non hai fatto aggiustare questo sedile? Mi, mi sento un cretino così raso terra. <ride> Me ne sono scordata, scusami. Ah, vedrai che ti troveranno per via delle impronte digitali. Scommetto che le hai lasciate per tutta la casa, vero? Vero. 
Ci vorrebbe un'altra alluvione di Firenze per cancellarle tutte. <ride> Metti che trovino il corpo domani mattina. Confronteranno prima le impronte con quelle dei pregiudicati. Gli ci vorrà un po' per collegare i due delitti, ma infine vedrai che arriveranno a te. E così hai solo un paio di giorni di tempo. Non è molto, eh? <ride> no, certo. E per prima cosa devo trovare questa. Che bella villa, strana. Lo sai dov'è? Che domanda, non dovrei cercarla se lo sapessi. Allora come farai? Non ho nessuna intenzione di dirtelo. Perché vedi, accidenti, qui sembra che tutto abbia orecchie, ma come ha fatto l'assassino a sapere che sarei andato lì? Non ne ho idea. Beh, una cosa è certa, la prossima mossa giuro che la faccio senza dir niente a nessuno. Questa poi è incredibile. Sei davvero simpatico. Ehi, hey, tesoro, per caso non penserai mica che sia io a... Ah, ma no, no, senti, io lo faccio per proteggerti. Cerco soltanto di evitarti dei pericoli e ti assicuro che appena... Bla, scu... bla, bla! Te lo giuro, appena scopro qualcosa io corro da te e te lo dico. Perché non la smettiamo con questa stupida gara fra ragazzini? Mm. Noi dobbiamo lavorare uniti. Lo sai, due cervelli ragionano molto meglio di uno. E dove ce l'avete il cervello, voi donne? Non ci illudiamo, voi donne avete la forza bruta, i muscoli, ci battete a braccia di ferro, ma io ti assicuro che è l'uomo che è il monopolio dell'intelligenza. Sono stato chiaro? Sì, sei stato chiaro. Ah, finalmente. Licorino? Io ho anisetta, sambuca, caffè borghetti, alcher... Non ce l'hai qualcosa un po' meno appiccicoso? Whisky, cognac. Sì, meglio. A casa mia staremo più comodi, non ti pare? Forse, ma stiamo bene anche qui. Sì, ma a casa mia staremo molto meglio, credo. Mm. Ok, andiamo. Ma guarda un po' questo scemo che si crede. Non ho mai incontrato un uomo più presuntuoso di te. A te devono averti proprio viziato le donne. Ma te l'ho detto, è soltanto perché non ho un ragazzo in questo momento. Tutto qua, come sei montato. Oh, accidenti. Che è successo? Indovina. Sure, it's the Dracaena zindia virus, that's what it is. You won't find it here, it grows in the Canary Islands. It's highly delicate and suffers if exposed to cold. I don't believe anyone imports it. You'll find it just too hard to get it rooted. No, sir, never handled it myself. Well, thank you. Nah, never. Yes. Are you sure? Uh, absolutely, but it was a long time ago. I remember because we had a special order of about a dozen from the Canary Islands. Unfortunately, most of them died in the first couple of years. The climate isn't humid enough for them. In fact, they were so unsuccessful, that was the last time I tried them. Do you think you could tell me who ordered well, them? Well, I guess I could look up the old invoices. Why do you want to know? I'm an architect. I'm making some uh, environmental studies. Well, let's see what we can find. E la bottiglietta! Tutta la bottiglietta, porca puttana! Non può! Finalmente! Sei no, ora che la sto cercando per tutti gli uomini! Cosa vuoi? Ma nessuno le controlla queste macchine del cazzo! Le controllano, dottor, ma se fregano le pizze! È naturale! Come ti sbagli! Tanto io è pieno di ladri, eh! Scusi, dottor, che forse a lui! Ma mia a te, Pischero! Beh, ma... Che lo rifate, dottor ordinario? Sì, per ora lo sciopero è sospeso. Le nostre richieste sono all'esame del ministro, però si prevede un sit-in. Cosa si prevede? Un sit-in di protesta. Andiamo a sederci tutti quanti in cortile e ce ne restiamo lì un'ora, due, quattro. Sì, ma cosa mi volevi dire prima? Ah, già, quasi quasi me ne dimenticavo. C'è il questore, vuole assolutamente parlare. Ah, io che palle ho. Pronto? Pronto? È il professor Giordani? Sono Mark Davis, io dovrei parlarne, è una cosa importante. 
Ma no, preferirei vederla subito se è possibile. Vede, Amanda Righetti è stata assassinata. It's a long pass on the right wing. Rocco centers. Ball finds Pelly's head. Go! Beautiful! She was pointing at the mirror with her finger. It didn't look natural to me. The, the index finger of her right hand. It was as if... Well, it was as if she was trying to point something out, you know? Quando io l'amo, quando io l'amo, fatti! You think they've, uh, they've discovered the body by now? I would have thought so. Assuming it wasn't your imagination, just working overtime. In any case, I'll go over there and have a look. Michael Schwartz. Where is he now? He dies. German, a writer, an odd sort of fella. Bought the place in 63, I think. Before that, it was empty for a long time. I don't know, apparently it was full of ghosts. Schwartz, he never heard those stories. He just thought the price was right, so he bought it. And who lived there before? Oh, I can't help you there. It'd be more than 20 years ago, before my time. This writer, Schwartz, how did he, uh, how did he die? It was an accident. Poor bastard. He fell out of a window. It was me that found her, you know. This morning, very early, at 8 o'clock, when I came to do the cleaning, like always. Oh, I, I, I nearly died of fright, you know. And the police, they kept me for hours asking me all sorts of questions. But what could I tell them? I mean, what do I know? Just think it hasn't been half an hour since they took out the body. Poor old man. Who could have done it? A maniac. Who else? It's always a maniac, and they never catch them. Where was she found? In the bathroom. Come on. I'll show you. There's all that blood. All over the place. I'm going to try and clean it off now. But I'm getting out of here before it gets dark, you know. Oh, such a mess everywhere. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Oh, it's you. How should I do with what I've been doing? No, 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 thank you. Yes. Oh, Louis.
you doing? You're running out all the hot water. I just wanted to find out uh, who the murderer was. With hot water? Uh-huh. <laughs> hot water. You didn't hear if the police found anything. I mean... No, just a dog. And uh, I heard them talk about a child. But of course. A child. That's right. Thank you. My daughter will go with you. I ain't got time right now. You got any questions, you can ask him when you bring the keys back. Olga! Come back here this minute. What is it? You little witch. I told you not to do that again. <laughs> Nothing. Don't pay any attention. My father's just a little crazy. I'll, uh, I'll bring you the keys back later. Be careful, huh? What? There are ghosts in there. Ghosts? Everyone around here says there are. Bye.
Mr. Daly! Yes? Is anything wrong? We didn't see you come back. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just leaving now. The place is dangerous at night. The lights got turned off a couple of years ago, and you're coming down now, huh? Nothing, it's just, just a scratch. A bit of glass fell off, you think? You're warned, you're the place is falling apart.
Pronto, Gianna? Ciao, Mar. Che cosa fai di bello? Ti diverti? Come no, da matti. Ho riempito due schemi di parole incrociate. Io invece ho un brutto indovinello da risolvere. Hanno ammazzato Giordani poco fa. La polizia è stata chiamata dai vicini di casa che hanno sentito gridare. Che hai fatto lì? Ah, qui ho oh, niente, un graffio. Senti. Oh. Sinceramente, a questo punto io non so più dove sbattere la testa, lo confesso. Quel figlio di puttana sa tutto e conosce in anticipo ogni nostra mossa. Scusa, non mi ricordo dove hai detto che dovrei scappare. In Libano. Ah, già è vero, in Libano. Purtroppo per andare laggiù ci vuole l'aereo. E a me volare dall'angoscia. Dai, non c'è motivo di farsi venire l'angoscia. Quando sei per aria pensa solo che a terra ci arrivi, in un modo o nell'altro. Grazie. E che ne dici se prendiamo la macchina e ce ne andiamo in Spagna? Noi? Ma vuoi dire che allora vengo anch'io? Sì, se ti va. Oh, ma certo che mi va. Sta a sentire. Noi ci prendiamo una bella vacanza. Mare, sole, corride, feste, flamenco. Ti va, vero? Ma certo, come no, se l'ho proposto io. Non so tu, ma a me sta per saltare il sistema nervoso e bisogna andare via. Aspetta, aspetta, è inutile stare qui a parlare. Su, so, non perdiamo altro tempo. Ora tu te ne vai a casa e fai le valigie. Sarò di ritorno fra un'ora. Oh, senti, bisognerà prendere una macchina a noleggio perché la mia, sai, non è molto indicata per i grandi viaggi. Lo so. Ti adoro, wow! E questa chi è? Mm? Oh, beh, un, una ragazza che una volta stavamo insieme Si chiama Carol Roma? No, no, è, è americana, ma ora vive a Parigi Ti dà via le vamp Ti piacciono super sexy le donne Bling Bye, bye Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, this is uh, Marcus Daly. Oh, the engineer. No, the, uh, the, 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 the pianist. I wonder if I could speak to Carlo. Is he home? No. My boy's just gone out. But you can come over and wait for him if you like. We had such a lovely chat last time. And besides, I'm sure he'll be happy with Uh, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, nothing, nothing. Bye. <sighs> Why did I not notice that before? Missing. That's right.
your note and came straight here. I saw a reddish light in one of the windows, so I rushed upstairs and found you lying near the flames. A minute or two longer and you'd have been a roast duck baby. It's, it's all lost. There was, there was a body in a, in a, a, a walled-in room. Yes, 27, Viale Souza. My name is Jana Bretzi. I'm a reporter. Yes, of course. I'll, I'll please get here as soon as you can. Hello? Yes, fire department? 
There's a house on fire, 27 Viale Sousa. This number? Uh, please, one second. 831 Yes, two, six. How did it get started in the sake, first place? That's there, what I'd you? like to know. <laughs> you think it was a ghost? Who gave you this? I... I did it. Now, that's impossible. That's impossible. You couldn't have seen it. Who gave it to you? Where did you see this, huh? You heard what she said. She invented it herself. She's like that. Just loves to do horrible things. If you could just see what she does to lizards. That may be. That may be true. But she couldn't possibly have invented this. How could she? It's identical. I... I saw it at school. Go on, now. You tell me where you got this. Just tell me. One day to punish me, they made me clean up the archives. And there were lots of drawings from all the old classes. And there was one like this. All right, what school? Near here. The Leonardo da Vinci School. divided according to year and subject. Didn't you hear that? No, what was it? I don't know. I just heard something. Listen, you keep at it. I'm going to take a look. What 
do you say I call the police and tell them we're here? Yeah, okay. Gianna? 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 the drawing. Not far. Yeah, thanks. I got Can't it. Can't miss it. Got the name over the door. Leonardo da Vinci. No use hiding. I know who you are. I read the name. Carlo. I got here late. Too bad. Well, so now what are you going to do? Kill you. I'm sorry, because I like you. But I have to kill you. I told you to stay out of it. Pack up and clear out, I said. Why? Why didn't you listen to me? Are you stupid or something? <laughs> Don't you realize it's all your fault? You're just so damn stubborn. If you hadn't meddled, 
stuck your damn nose in it all. What a mighty, he could have killed you. Hey, he's over there! By the wall! You, hold it! When do you think she'll come round? Not before morning. It was a very difficult operation, but 100% successful. Fortunately, she's a strong woman. There was no problem. He was with me when Helga was killed. It couldn't have been him. He had nothing to do with it. But why? disappear because it represented something important. Something so important you don't even realize it. Important. Important. That painting. What an idiot. That's what I saw, a mirror. There never was a painting there at all. What I saw was a reflection in a mirror. I saw the face of the murderer.
damn you. I hate you. Carlo had nothing to do with any of this, and you killed him. He was... No! Uh -huh. He was... He was only trying to... to protect me. Carlo never murdered anybody. It all began such a long time ago. Now, don't worry. Nothing's going to happen to you. It's all right. I'll take you to the hospital myself. No. I told you I'm not going to go back there again. I don't want to. No one can force me to go back to the hospital. But, Martha, it's for your own good. I know you heard what the doctor said. No. 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 Hey! <laughs> 